Hello, Kate here, and I'm going to show you in this video how to repair a wall that's been slightly damaged by water. Note that this repair is very minor, so if you have significant water damage, especially if you have mold, you'll need to replace the drywall entirely. The tools you'll need in order to complete this project are, of course, your drywall compound, sandpaper, make sure it's fine sandpaper, You'll also need a utility knife to clean up the space on the wall before you spread the drywall compound. And if necessary, if you're covering any joints, you're going to need some drywall tape. I like the mesh drywall tape the best. Uh, I will show you how to use that in the video. And then on top of that, of course, you will need your wall color. I had a leak about six months ago. I thought I fixed the ceiling. I did fix the ceiling. I fixed the plumbing. And then when I took my mirror down that was here, I realized that the paint was bubbling. The first thing I did was use an X-Acto knife or utility knife and I cut um, just above the spots that were peeling away from the drywall. So that I get a nice clean line here. And I, I peeled as much as I could. You can see here that some of this is still coming off, so I'll peel that away as much as I can. And then even over here, like this should all be removed. Because you have two pieces of drywall coming together, it's important that you replace that tape. So I'm cutting a piece. This is I like using the mesh, the mesh tape best. Um, so you're just going to measure that out and then smooth it over top of that line. Okay. And then I'm also going to do some along the corner which is where another two pieces of drywall meet. This will make me actually have to overlap the drywall plaster a little bit on this side. Now I've got my pre-mixed drywall compound. What I'm gonna do is do my first layer. I like to kind of cake it on in those areas that I know I need a lot of plaster and then kind of smooth it out as I go. And remember, you're never going to keep that drywall compound within the spot that you've torn apart. It's always going to have to overlap a little bit just to make sure that it's a smooth transition from old wall to the new section. Use the original wall as your guide. So you're going to know you're going to need to bring up this layer to the point where the wall is at. That makes sense. I've allowed this to dry overnight and you can see everything's gone white, all the drywall compounds. So I'm just going to sand it down just to soften up the edges uh, a little bit and then I'm going to add another layer of drywall compound. So I've sanded this down, you can see all the rough edges are gone, so now I really know where I have to fill, which would be right here. The next uh, step is filling this in. I'm just going to pile some on in those spots that I know I need a little bit more to align with the original drywall. So 
Let's see. We're back again. This has dried. So you can see I added a little bit here and here just to smooth out this spot. This was the most affected area. Next step is to paint the wall, the, at least the drywall compound, with a primer. I'm doing this before I put on the actual wall color. When I paint, if I've got a corner involved or a ceiling or floor, I usually will do the corner first. So, just paint along the corner. Make sure that you've got it in the actual center here. It's using the roller you can smooth out the lines. So I'll get most of the paint on the surface I need covered. And then I'm going to go up and down like this. Now I'm going to allow this to dry a few hours and I'll be able to go over it with the wall color. Now we're going to paint over the primer with the wall paint. So again, I'm going to do the same as I did with the primer. Start in the corner with a paintbrush. You can see in the corner here I still have some white showing through so I'm going to do a second coat and I mentioned before that if you're painting over a light color that you're going to have to probably do a couple coats. The same thing if you're painting over a dark color with a light color then you're probably going to need to do two or three coats. I'm going to go over this again with my roller just to make sure I've got really great coverage here. Here's a look at the finished product. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. You can't even tell that there was a warped, moistened hole on the wall before. If you're about to attempt this project, just remember to be patient and good luck. Thanks for watching.